Hello friends! Three guides from Jurulita Travel Company arrived today in Kaunas, William, Daniel and Yulik. We will make a virtual tour for you. We'll travel in this city, we'll tell you stories about the city, we'll speak about the famous people and you will see, of course, pretty women of the city. We will eat some traditional meals, we will have some good coffee and by the end of the tour you will feel the real spirit of Kona. This is a statue of uh, pagan god Perkunas. Perkunas means lightning, like in uh, Greek mythology, Zeus. So Lithuania was the last pagan state in Europe and uh, they baptized only in the late 14th century. Kaunas was established about the same time when Lithuania was first time mentioned in the 11th century and it was close to river Niamunas or Nieman. So here you see the river and uh, you see a lot of uh, brown and red roofs of the old city, a lot of churches and also there is a confluence of two rivers, Niamunas and Neris rivers. So uh, on the other side of the city there is also a Jewish neighborhood called Slobodka, there is a newer city, the modern city, so we are diving into Kaunas. Kaunas is a second large city in Lithuania and very strong in education. This is part of Kaunas University, it's an academy of music, very strong music school in Lithuania. Now we promised you to show you beautiful women of Kaunas, so this is the first beautiful woman we saw. It's a beautiful stone sculpture. In Lithuania there is no marble, only granite stones and it's quite hard to make uh, beautiful sculptures and statues from this uh, hard and easily broken fragile stone. But uh, Lithuanian artists they are quite good in, in working uh, granite. So just next to the panoramic platform, here is a, a cable railway or funicular, like in this song. Funicular, funicular. So uh, in Kaunas, uh, there are two funiculars, one on this side of the city and one on the opposite side of the city. And both funiculars, they made uh, easier for people who lived outside the city center to reach their residential areas. Today, this street is called Americos Letuvu Gatve in Lithuanian or the street of American Lithuanians. The biggest community of Lithuanians outside Lithuania is in the United States. So uh, there are about 800,000 people. The big community is in Chicago. Many uh, people of Lithuanian descent live in other parts of the United States. Now here we will not be able to use the funicula itself to go down, so we'll walk the steps. The funicula is closed because of corona most probably. After the panoramic platform and funicula, we reached the Neman River, Neman or Nyamonas in Lithuanian language, and uh, I'm walking on a bridge. So this bridge connected the old town of Kaunas and the suburbs. Now, in the old days, there was a period when uh, Lithuania was part of the Russian Empire. And uh, the border of Russian Empire with the Prussian Empire was this river. I'm standing on the border between the two countries. So, behind me is a country, is a territory of a country which doesn't exist anymore. The territory of Prussia, Eastern Prussia. Now, by coming to this side of Nyamunas River, I'm already in Russian Empire, also a country which doesn't exist anymore, or maybe will exist soon. So, they had different, they had a lot of differences. There was a legend about uh, uh, this bridge, People used to say it's the longest bridge in the world. 
to wood. Look at this bridge and say, no, it's the longest bridge in the world. No way. San Francisco, New York, <laughs> they have much, much longer bridges. Now, indeed, 200 years ago, this bridge could be longest bridge in the world. Because on, the, on one side, there was a Julian calendar, and on the other side, there was a Gregorian calendar, and the difference between the two calendars is two weeks. So people used to say, I cross the bridge, I, I gain two weeks, or it takes me two weeks to cross it. Now, these four big columns in the center, uh, they, they have purpose. It's, it's not just decoration of the bridge. Uh, once, Namunas River uh, used to serve as a trading way or, or a carrier way. And here, big ships used to, uh, to sail here back and forth. It was Kaunas Fortress. It was built in the early 1300s. And here you can see a stone in honor of that. <clears throat> and this uh, metal thing says uh, that in 1362, Kaunas Fortress um, God was Grand Duke Vaidotas. In Lithuania were a lot of uh, Grand Dukes. They defended uh, and protected the territories. Uh, they were successfully fighting the Teutonic Knights. <coughs> Actually, Lithuanians were a very strong force and power in the medieval period. Even Russian dukes when they needed help they were coming to Lithuanian grand dukes asking for protection and uh, strategic help the old symbol of Lithuania the historical symbol is vitis vitis means the horse rider and here you can see a double symbol of Lithuania you can see the horse rider current statue not so long ago was erected and the same symbol is on a, on a historical flag <clears throat> now the wind is blowing right direction so you can see the white horse rider on a red uh, flag and these are the <coughs> remnants of uh, Kaunas fortress only one tower remained and a little bit from the defensive walls and uh, around this territory there was a defensive moat. Uh, the water from the river Neris filled the defensive moat and this was the, uh, uh, the, the defended and protected uh, fortress area.